Welcome back to another episode of the South by East podcast where we discuss the <laughs> scriptures, the culture, and everything in between right here with you in the intersection. Yeah, bro, let's get into this episode. For sure. And um, recently an article came out that said that 45% of families go into debt, go into debt, <laughs> taking their kids... <laughs> On Disney. Disney vacations. Bro, I can't. I, so there was a point in there where they talked about, <laughs> they're like, uh, families are blaming this on the high cost of food and attractions. And I'm like, I'm blaming it on a lack of self-control. <laughs> man, <laughs> like, hey, man, I, you know what? I hear you. Um, man, but when you walk through Epcot, bro, and they have... Yes, I haven't been. You've been. So, so no, but you went to Disneyland, right? <laughs> no, I've no, never been to, to Disney Park. And you went to Universal. Uh, I've gone to Universal, yeah. See, I went to Universal in Florida uh, And I went to the studios. I've never been to the park. Yeah, I went see. to the park uh, several years ago when I grew I was my senior year of college. Yeah. Um, but I took my kids to Disney um, last year um, to spend time with their sisters, and so... That was that was a great deal, mm. and um, it is a great experience. But we did plan. You, you know me. I don't. I don't. Oh. I don't do anything full price oh, on vacation. No. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I. <laughs> I don't, you got it worked out. I, I don't do anything. T- hey, we have to do bro, a full episode on that on the we tips. Do, on yeah, the tips. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right, I'll brother, tell you. tell you, like we travel. My family travels, but man, like it's always the hookup. It is always the hookup. Right. I, I'm cousin Pete. Yeah, you know? <laughs> my, man got the, my man in there with free cable on a Disney trip. Yeah, and so like we stayed for free, right? Um, and then pretty much we we paid for uh, tickets, um, and like we ate, we did different things to to mitigate cost a lot, and so that really that that is what enabled us to do. We, right. we flew for free, um, we stayed for free, mm-hmm. and so it was the cost of the parks. And then, like, we bought groceries where we were staying right. to be able to eat. But, man, it was high. Like, inside the park, we were really kind of really judicious on what we did. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, man, there's one deal I still remember to this day. When you at Epcot, man, because Epcot has all the different nationality of food. Like, you walked as you walk Ooh. through all the different nationalities, and they have food that that matches the culture. Found my happy place. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, man, in Brazil... They got these smoked oxtails. <laughs> these, oh, bro. What? I was going in. And uh, oh. I got out of line. I got my oxtail. And I was eating it. And I turned up around and got right back in line again. <laughs> while I still had the oxtail in my hand. I'm going to say one plate. <laughs> <laughs> one plate. I'm back at it. I'm, I'm right back, back in this joke. Um, Man, and the thing is, like, so from what I've heard from you and from other families who have been to Disney, it's not overpriced. It's the the experience is incredible, and I think, man, when I think about this, like the article said that people, on average, are finding themselves two thousand dollars over budget, and often needing two months to recover. And I, I feel like a big part of that is we talked about this Sunday at our church. We talked about a a lack of of rest yeah. in our everyday life, and how when you don't have a rhythm of rest daily and a rhythm of rest at least weekly where you where you dedicate some time to rest you end up trying to not rest but trying to escape and a vacation turns into too much like i i haven't been to disney because i haven't been in a position yet where i'm able to afford it or where i'm trying to save enough to be able to afford it, it hasn't been a priority and i don't i don't feel like i need to do something like that just to escape my everyday life. I, I think don't... it's more than that. Like, yeah. um, one, I think every part about the trip, inclu- to do it right and to not go into debt, you have to prep. Um, mm-hmm. So I, I spoke with a lot of people. Um, one of the things is um, because of some of the, the special needs of one of my kids, we were able to get like fast passes. And so we pretty much in every, we did three out of the five parks. Um, we were able to ride every ride we wanted to ride. Uh, pretty much skipping a lot because of Disney does a tremendous job of helping mm. with families with needs. Um, when we also when we looked at things like 
a, a large part that I always hear come up is um, is that parents are trying to provide something they didn't have. So, and I understand that, man. Like, growing yeah. up, me and my yeah. wife always talk about, like, when we went to theme parks and stuff like that as a kid, like, we never went to Disney. This was my first trip yeah. to Disney. <laughs> and, um, but, like, Six Flags was in the town where I lived yeah. at. Um, I have been to Six Flags. You know, our parents packed, you know, sandwiches and, mm-hmm. you know, made sandwiches, put them back in the bread uh, bag that they made them in, yep. put them in the cooler. Oh, you hungry? We about to hit this parking yeah, lot. Yeah, you about to find a parking and, lot and, or a and, bench or something. And we about to go back out to the parking lot and eat because they didn't let you bring the food in. But Disney, like, I, if I remember right, they let you bring food in. Wow. Um, and so they try to do everything they can. But it's one of those deals of, you You know, you hear people like, well, I didn't never get to eat food in the parks. So I'm going to let. And it's like, man, we're going to do some of that. But, like, when it came to toys and stuff like that, we were like, hey, we're not buying any toys in here because we, we did enough research where we knew we could drive to the Walmart down the street and they had all same the same. Thing, same so thing. at the end of the trip, right. we took our kids to the Walmart down the street and said, hey, pick any one deal from these rows here because they were in a certain price range. Mm-hmm. Boom. My kids still love those things today. Right. No different, right? And we didn't pay, pay the park prices. Um, and so it's, it's one about some self-control. It's two, though, of realizing, like, we had... Here's the funny thing about this. Now... The tickets still cost. We didn't get, uh, my kids' sisters live in Florida, so they get the in-state pass, which is a lot cheaper. Mm-hmm. Um, but the tickets cost, that was a major, that was a major sacrifice for my family to be able to just afford the tickets for five of us, yeah. right? Going are the days where we went to Silver Dollar City before they were a certain age in Branson and they got in for free and me and Trisha were like, Woo. And so, <laughs> um, but... The other day, we were sitting around, and we just asked our kids, what was their favorite vacation? And none of them said Disney. Mm. And that's the thing to think about. Like, and the reasons that they said for different places were all, you know, different. Um, and it was it was crazy, like, hearing them, me and Trisha, like, processing them saying what was, we thought for sure that Disney would have yeah. came up, right? So it's not the amount of, of money you... Spend, spend a lot of time that makes the moment special and they all had different reasons why different um trips were special for them and mm-hmm. favorite because we travel a lot we travel a lot i mean on on the discount feed man if you got a free hotel yeah. room that you're trying to use let us know because we, we will use that for you yeah yeah you yeah. got some how you got some um airplane credits we will use those for you slide through take um, that off your hand yeah, take that off your hand i don't want you to be so heavy yeah like you know <laughs> like i mean that's that's how we do it yeah and, and so um and man there's something great that you said about the prep um you know, I think my wife and I, we, we were kind of redoing our budget and just looking at some different things. And uh, as we were redoing our budget, she was like, hey, I found a way that we can get like meat in bulk and some different things. I want to kind of redo the way we do groceries, like how much we have budgeted. She's like, okay. And I think what she ended up doing, she ended up saving us like close to $200 a month on groceries, like moving forward. That is $2,400, $2,400 a year. That's more than people are going over a budget in Disney, right? And it's just because we changed the way that we prepared for the month. Like, the power of prep cannot be understated in anything you do. And you ain't got to go to Disney to witness the power of preparing, even if, one last thing, my family, we, we had kids who were, uh, we had two under two for a while, and we went on a trip to San Antonio and back, and we decided we will never do that again. Like, this is not a vacation when you travel with with these young kids. And so we the next year we did a staycation. And instead of spending a couple thousand dollars, a thousand dollars on a vacation, bro, we spent, I set aside $800. We stayed here in town. And between here, Lawrence, Kansas City, we ate at places we never ate before. We went and did putt-putt and different things that we don't usually do, go-karting, things we don't usually do. We let every kid pick a special activity. And we spent half the budget that we had saved up, we slept at home in our own comfort, and we, we just prepared for that. So it, it makes yeah. a big difference, no matter what you're doing. The, the, prep, the, the prep is on several levels, because Lee, I knew that this trip to Disney that we took last year was probably a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Mm-hmm. Me and Trisha both knew that. So we even prepped our kids for the amount of walking, uh, mm-hmm. Because we knew we were going to get to the parks when they opened, and we were staying till they closed. <laughs> and um, and so 
like eat leading up. Um, my family uh, did the um, the the rotary, the Topeka South Rotary pumpkin run. Okay, uh, the five K. Yeah. We did a five K leading up to our Disney trip. Five K to go to Disney. I we, love it. We um <laughs> man, when they wanted ice cream, we made them jokers walk to Dairy Queen. You know, <laughs> and so we made them walk to Dairy to go get ice cream. Um, we did things was training to, do. to like train up, yeah. right? So they they could take it, so they it wouldn't be miserable. Right. And even like this, like you know, um, when we first got our kids, they were um, two, two, and ten months. Mm. And man, like, yeah, the first trips were kind of miserable because they just screened, like they renewed us, they just screened, but they we trained them to where even when we lived in South Texas, we would drive fourteen hours to uh, Trisha's parents' house in Western Kansas. Mm-hmm. By that time, they were they were good. So my kids, I mean, a couple of summers ago, um, somebody gave us some time in, in Myrtle Beach. And so we drove from Topeka to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And my kids never once used their or back. Um, in all that car time, they never once used any electronics. They just read books. But but we had to, we had to train them for that over time. Right. To get them ready to be able to do car rides like that. And now, like, we have this map where they color all the states we've crossed through. Mm -hmm. And so they enjoy, they, you know, they enjoy playing rides. They, you know, they enjoy riding the car. And my wife does this tremendous job where she buys these little trays from the dollar store. And she has different activity packets that she hands out at timed intervals. And then when we stop for gas or restroom break, she collects everything Mm -hmm. and hands it back out again. And hands it back out again, like, right. and they, she mixes up who gets what packets, yeah. and that kind of keeps them all um, entertained in a car between books and those those packets with different kind of activities yeah, in them. Yeah, that's nice. And so, like, we have this system, and yeah. we have to train for it, and we learn stuff along the way. We ask different ideas, and, and it makes it where you can have experiences because, like, for for us, it's so important because we are a, a experience over a item family, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. We value experiences highly and being able to do that, but we find ways to do it that won't break the budget. And when something costs a little bit more, we also say, okay, where are we gonna give at, right? Where are right. we gonna give at? So we do a lot of meal prep. We mm-hmm. do a lot of meal yep. prep at the house. And um, it's, it's finding out how to do that. Um, it's one of the reasons why I still drive a car with uh, roll-up windows and, and manual locks mm-hmm. is because I would rather put that money into my family going on experiences and doing things yeah. together than mm-hmm. having a nicer car to drive. And so um, I just think as you read this, there's a way to do it without going into debt. Yeah. Um, and also I think it's prudent to be able to save up mm-hmm. to do it and have a budget rather than going in debt and pay it off because the the terrible thing is when you hear about people having to get a second job when they get home right from a vacation, vacation. yeah man and i i agree with that um that prep like prepping to like you said prepping and being ready for it so you can fully enjoy that experience mm-hmm. but i would love to know i think we would love to know what are some of y'all tips? What are some yep. of y'all best vacation tips? What are the things you guys do to prepare for vacations or best enjoy them or even things you do to save some money, save some costs? I love to hear them. I'm sure that they're creative. Man, thank you guys for building with us here in the intersection. Continue to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell wherever you are at, and we'll continue to see you in, in the, the intersection. intersection.